the explorer of the day. Today we will unveil the history, culture and tradition of the municipality of Don Carlos. Madam people, I am here at the Don Carlos Municipal Plaza to tell you the important information about this municipality. According to the geography, Don Carlos was located at the northern Mindanao of the Philippines. First, let me tell you how exactly the municipality of Don Carlos began. Don Carlos, officially the municipality of Don Carlos, or also known as the Little Vegan of Bukidnon, is the first class municipality in the province of Bukidnon. According to the 2020 census, it has a population of 69,273 people. Don Carlos was founded as June 18, 1966 with 29 barangays such as Sinangguyan, Pinamaloy, Manlamunay, Kipatang, Minsalagan, so on and so forth. As of the current, the municipality was controlled by the Mayor Maria Victoria Opizaro with his Vice Mayor Jude Di Palmada and of course the member of the Municipal Council. As of 2022, the voters was 45,927. And of course, the total area of the municipality was 213,072 kilometers squared with a household of 16,097. As of 2018, it was reported that the poverty of the municipality was 27.06%. The municipality of Don Carlos actually has a total assets of 938.9 million. Wow, wow. just wow. So, the revenue was 250.3 million with the expenditure of 200.5 million and of course the liabilities of 436.5 million. Oh my god. <laughs> Madlang people, without so much of ado, let's jump to the history of the municipality of Don Carlos. So, where did it begin? Who founded it? Who named after it? Are you curious? Then let's satisfy it. According to the history, the first people who settled this place before was a certain Dato Andarol, his wife Bae Mahano, and their son Dato Manginayon. Dato Andarol was a ruler and the leader of the Man Manubo tribe settling the village of Mindoso, which was the old name of Don Carlos. The place was covered with forest and access by outlanders was prohibited unless permitted by the Dato. Minduso was the home of Dato Andarol's descendants. Upon the arrival of the Spaniards, the Dato was succeeded by his son, Dato Manginayon. With the contrast with the Spaniards and missionaries, Spanish naming conventions and Christianity was introduced. And Dato Manginayon adapted the name Antonio. Hence, his full name now was Dato Antonio Sagandilan Senor. He was married to Bae Antonina Mahayu, Manla, Manla Yuan. His leadership reflects that of his father as he implemented tribal laws and settled criminal offenses, particularly murder. As the leader of his tribal community, he also presided wedding ceremonies and settled down race. The first Spanish stranger who approached Datu Mangina Yon, Antonio Senor, was Thomas Sandoval. He requested a parcel of land that he intend to borrow and to till. The Dato conceded to his request as part of their agreement, Thomas was to give the part of his harvest as a share to the Dato. Several years later, another Spaniard by the name of Elizalde came and like Thomas requested the Dato for lands to establish ranches. The lands lent by the Dato to Elizalde were the lands at Pantil Pantilan, Mitutubo, and the land along the Mulita River, and of course, the today famous Squash Mountain and the Tugas Falls. Spaniards who came from Cagayan de Misamis and other coastal towns of Misamis were encouraged to settle and populate the area that comprises the present day Don Carlos. Census Registry of the Settlers of Minduso was only located at Ramag, or for the Manubu tribe, they call it breakfast. Or, and later on, known as Maramag. Dato Manginayon Antonio Sagandilan Jr. was born on March 17, 1917 at Mevuan o Barangay, Sinanguyan. Under the Republic Act 4800, Minduso and other neighboring villages or barangays 
were clustered to form the municipality of Don Carlos in 1966. The patron saint of Don Carlos was Senor Santo Nino and they celebrate his fiesta in every third week of January. Don Carlos was visited by local tourists, especially in peak season such as Christmas and New Year's Eve. The municipality of Don Carlos is naturally involved with sites and have been seen with strong potentials to be tourist destinations. There, these are the uncommercialized Lake Pinamalu in Barangay Pinamaloy, the Kahulugan Falls in Barangay Sinangguyan, and the Linking Caves and Spring in Barangay San Antonio East. There are many things Don Carlos is proud of. Some of it are Kibila Giant Clay Pot, which believed to be the largest clay pot in the Philippines. Mount Kitanglad Range Natural Park, Don Carlos Pineapple Plantation, Kamulan Festival, and try the local delicacies. So now we are going to interview some individuals for their opinion about why every park in the Philippines has a monument of Rizal. So, take a look. What's your opinion on that? What's the name of the park in the Philippines? It's a big deal. 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 It's a big de